Thomas, Percy, and James were looking at the early morning sky. Said Thomas. Grumbled James. Replied Percy. Snorted James. And he puffed away to collect his freight cars from the docks. Thomas and Percy had to take some empty freight cars to the scrapyards. In a siding, they saw an old coach. She looked very sad. The yard manager appeared, said Percy's driver. The engines were dismayed, said Thomas, but he didn't know how. Meanwhile, James was enjoying himself. He trilled but he was heading for trouble. One of the fuel cars was leaking. Then suddenly, it caught fire, cried James. They reached the siding, and his driver gave the alarm. As Thompson and Percy approached the junction, they saw the smoke and a fireman waving a red flag, a guard waving a red flag. He called, said Percy, snorted James, called a fireman. Thompson and Percy now felt sorry for James. It wasn't long before they reached the station. Later, as they were having a long drink at the water towers, they suddenly heard a commotion. Thomas asked, replied Thomas's driver. The fire engines had a big problem, cried the fireman. Then Thomas had an idea. The firemen wasted no time, chuckled their drivers. Soon the fire was out, but the hut where the workmen lived was destroyed, said the foreman, said Percy, added Thomas, said his driver. They phoned Sir Topmatt, who agreed, and she was, and very happy too. The engines buffered up to her, and she set off, hap and she set off happily to her new home. Everyone agreed that there was nothing old or slow about Coach, and she will always be really useful indeed.